guys, I'm Sam Crack, and over the last week or so, I received countless amount of emails about a popular YouTuber's Audi R8 that was recently totaled and has now surfaced at the insurance auto auction. Now, a lot of you guys have been followers of the channel for a while know that I've been looking for a salvage auction Audi R8 for a rebuild project for the longest time. And some of you posed the question, would this be the Audi R8 for you to rebuild? Now, considering that this is a V10 Plus model and it's heavily modified, definitely intrigues me. But of course, we gotta take a look at the damage before we assess whether it's a good rebuild candidate or not. First up, we're gonna take a look at Tanner Brangard's video that he made regarding his wrecked Audi R8. It will give us an up close look at the car and give us a little bit more detail than the insurance auto auction listing. Then we're gonna hop over to that listing. We're gonna check out exactly whether or not this is a car we should bid on. Now, before we get to the details on Tanner's Audi R8, gotta give a huge thanks to this video sponsor, a continued sponsor of the channel, and that is the Ridge Wallet. Now, I've shown you guys my carbon fiber Ridge Wallet. I've been using over a month now, love this thing. They also have this amazing looking burnt titanium one. So cool. Ridge Wallet is a minimalist wallet that helps you get rid of your bulky old wallet. And you can check them out at the link in the description box below, as well as a coupon code for 10% off your first order. All right, so our subject is Mr. Tanner Brangart. Not too familiar with this channel, but just looking through some of the titles, some of the thumbnails, seems that Tanner is a viral video creator or a vlogger. But uh, the Audi R8 videos in question here, they're some of his most recent ones. The first one I crashed, my supercar totaled. The second one is uh, footage of my Audi R8 crash. And then the last one is saying goodbye to my dream car. We'll check out the first one here. All right, he just talks about the crash, but a few minutes in, he shows the footage of the actual car. Let's go right to the beginning. My phone, oh my. All right, right off the bat, check out the rear corner suspension. Completely ripped off the rear corner of that car. Terrible. Right here is the side blade. Completely popped out of place. Here, we'll keep going. Oh my God. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh my god. First of all, I'm sorry to you. Oh my god, we uh we took all we took out the fence. Yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. We'll let him know. Hey is all up in here. I like that lady. She's like, "Hey, I don't give a shit at all about your car, but just let that owner know that their fence is broken." <laughs> Dude, look at that path. No way. We literally flew off the road. Thank God this car does not like to flip because look at how steep that is. And we just, parts of my car are all over the place. The wrap everywhere. Thank God that these cars do not like to flip. All right, front end here. A smashed hood, just completely destroyed front bumper. There's definitely radiators and stuff in the front here. I can almost guarantee they're all destroyed here. No way. I'm like, I'm too like in shock and like scared for you no, I'm good. To, like, to be mad right now. The sun is setting right there. And as you can see around that corner, it was so bright. I couldn't see anything. I was going decently fast, but I've done this a million times. This road is the one I go down all the time. I downshifted, couldn't see, and just went off the road, slammed on the brakes, continued to just go through here, not slowing down whatsoever. We hit this at about 40. 40 mile an hour we hit this fence bro i don't want to have to tell my mom that this happened because she's going to be so scared i've owned this car <laughs> i don't know if you caught the the guy there but he's he, oh, i don't want to call mom let her know I, I wrecked the car and then the dude's like don't worry man if i could talk to her you know i think she'll be cool because mom uh doesn't think the teenagers are out doing anything they shouldn't be um, so I think we get the point here and I think you guys already know the answer whether or not I would consider uh, bidding on this car for rebuild. There's just a couple other little fragments here I want to show you because this car really really got destroyed. <laughs> wow my whole bumper. <laughs> Look at what those wires did on the fence. Completely Ooh. just ripped up all the sides. This is not real. Look at this. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah, bird nest. Yep. Bird nest. All right. All right, I want to back this up just a little bit here. All right, do you see what this is? Do you see what's going on here? Let me mute it for a second. This is the door sill plate. That that's pushed all the way up here. This is this is the the door frame 
all the way on the side. This should be on the floor. It's been pushed up that much. This car is severely screwed up underneath. So you guys get an idea of what the the actual condition of the car looks like right now and it, it looks very similar at the insurance auto auction right here we're going to take a look at the listing go through a few things in a moment uh, but first i want to review the dash cam footage to see uh, how okay. the uh, accident was actually caused we get again we got to fast forward to the point where they actually are watching this pass the motorcyclist there's a dog in the back the dog in the back there's a motorcyclist we saw before. Now, I just want to say one thing. How often do you guys notice motorcyclists going under the speed limit? I'm not saying that this woman was going above the speed limit. I'm not saying she was going below the speed limit. But how often do you notice them going under the speed limit? So clearly they're passing uh, motorcyclists. And they're on a straight road. I don't see why there's any issue with this. But it just maybe gives you a little hint as to how fast they might have been traveling. We're laughing. Oh, yeah, see... Look at how bright the sun is. That's ridiculous. Look at how bright the sun is. All right, I live in Florida. This is the sunshine state. We also have torrential rains here. And when you're driving, if there's anything impairing your vision, whether it's the sun, I've seen this look a million times. You guys criticize me because I'll put these sunglasses on. You guys go nuts. Take those stupid sunglasses off. Whether I'm outside just recording video or I'm driving in a car, I have my sunglasses on. I live in Florida. Number two. Uh, we have torrential rains here. When it pours, raining, in some cases, you can't even see out the windshield. This is something that everybody's experienced if you drive. If you can't see, in my opinion, you slow down. So this is where we come up on the corner. Look at us. See? <laughs> and they're all they're all having a good time they're laughing at what have could have been a uh, deadly situation you're all right so we get the point uh look i i don't even want to say they lost control i don't know what went on just now here we'll rewind it one more time and look yeah see this is look at how bright the sun is that's ridiculous. ridiculous so this is where we come up on the corner look at that. all right clearly they ran off the road i'm not going to start to hypothesize why they went off the road they know better than anybody else because they were in the car when it happened. And I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys want to comment on the accident itself, go ahead and do so in the comment section below. But we've seen the car, we've seen the dash cam footage, and here it is at the salvage auction. Our 2014 Audi R8. Now the one thing I didn't really mention yet, but you'll see here in the auction in the last photo, is that this car has a VF supercharger on it. Now these Audi R8 V10 pluses with uh, VF superchargers on them have like 800 horsepower. These things are just as fast as a Bugatti in a straight line up to you know, 100, 150 miles an hour. So this is an extremely fast car. All right, this is the deciding corner and the deciding corner tells me to stay away as far as you can, as far as a rebuild goes. Now right here, everything is missing. I love cars with suspension damage because suspension is like Legos. It usually just all bolts up. The problem is where the suspension bolts to, and that's going to be your main subframe. Now, just so you understand what a subframe looks like on an Audi R8, here's an eBay listing for one. And if you're curious, the seller is asking $5,000 for this subframe. The engine mounts right here, the transmission below it in the tunnel. Here you've got all sorts of really beautiful aluminum structure that has everything that's working in the car in place. So your suspension would likely be mounted to these arms out here. There's just a lot of very highly engineered aluminum going on back here. If that suspension ripped out as easily as it did, I would imagine you've got twisted bars or cracked bars. Again, it's aluminum. It reacts quite a bit differently than steel. Uh, you've got probably some broken stuff down here. That car basically skidded with a wheel off of it at one point during the accident not only that then you've got the front end body damage so you've got a car that has some pretty significant subframe damage i would assume uh, some pretty all-around significant frame damage i'd have to assume and with that quarter panel quarter panels are where i tend to walk away i don't i wouldn't like to own a supercar that had the quarter panel cut out and then re-welded in it it just is something that would be very time consuming very expensive and to get it to ever be really, really correct again might be sketchy. Not to mention, I mean, look at this subframe. It's cut. 
halfway into the cabin of the car. So where, are, what are you really going to cut off here and reattach? It's going to be exactly right. You're going to have to bend structures. And again, aluminum doesn't bend. It cracks. So you've got a parts car, at least in my opinion. But hey, with that VF supercharger, with the V10 engine, you literally have tens of thousands of dollars just in the mechanical parts. Then you've got a few body panels that are good, like the door, um, that windshield, I can tell you, is like 1500 bucks. The seats, I mean, you just got a ton of different great parts in this car. So my guess would be a high-end parts recycling facility would want this car, and they'd be willing to bid a good amount of money for it. It's definitely going to sell without a question. While this wouldn't be an appropriate Audi R8 for us to bid on, it is always interesting to see the backstory to a totaled car at the salvage auction, especially a salvage supercar like this Audi R8. We'll have to keep looking, but I've got a good feeling that we'll find one very soon. To Tanner and his friend that were in the car during the accident, I'm really happy that you guys walked away from this. I hope it's a good learning lesson to you and also all the younger guys out there. I hope it's a good learning lesson to them. Driving these cars and driving them at their limits sometimes is a very serious thing. And a lot of race car drivers make this stuff look easy, but the truth is they've got a lot more experience. Even myself or many other YouTubers that drive fun cars or have fast cars don't know what they're really like at the limits. We just have a little bit of fun on the streets and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Just make sure you keep it safe and you know your limitations with the car. And I wanna thank each and every one of you who mailed in the listing to Tanner's car because without you guys, I wouldn't have even known this happened. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you very soon.